Hey guys, I've been meaning to film this video. I'm going to try and do it today. Um, I've just been having issues with like getting a day to film. I just have a lot of background noise going on and I hope it's not too distracting. So this is just like a little haul. I grabbed a couple things from the Sephora uh, VIB sale. Two things. That's all I got. I did really good this time. Um, there wasn't really anything that like I've been wanting, so I wasn't going to order something just for the sake of ordering it. So the first thing I got, I ordered this off the Wish app, I think. It's a, I've mentioned it before, it's just an app on your phone where you can get stuff super cheap. It is a nail stamper that's clear on the bottom, which I thought was really cool because you can see through it, so you can see the design you're picking up. Um, I thought that was awesome because I don't have one of these and then it came with a little scrape or two and I gave up on nail stamping pretty much as soon as I first tried it because I couldn't get it right and it was pissing me off so I don't know I figured that this might help and I'll try again um, that was only a buck then I ordered from Ulta because I needed more of my nose strips my uh, pore strips I love these from formula 1006 you get five in here no, six. That's why I like this, because most of the other ones you only get like five. But, um, yeah, this is like my favorite brand for that stuff. And I also, I wanted to try one of the Tony Moly ones. This is the... It's not in English. I think it's called the Strawberry, uh, Strawberry Seeds 3-Step Nose Pack. So you get three separate strips, which you're supposed to leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes, this on for 10 to 15 minutes, and then the last one for five to ten minutes, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's a three-step one. I thought I would try it. Uh, I want to say this was like three bucks. Maybe it was more than that. I don't know. I hope it wasn't more than that. Why did I buy that? Um, then I was in Target the other day, and I grabbed one of the new EOSs. Um, the EOS lip balms. This is vanilla bean. They only had them in two packs and they were both the same flavor in the pack which didn't make sense to me because I don't want two of the same thing so I gave the other one to my grandma and these smell so good. They're really nice. Pretty much the same formula as the normal EOS lip balms but I like that they're in this kind of a uh, like a normal chapstick container rather than the little round balls because it's as cute as those things are and everybody does DIYs with them on YouTube now. Um, they're not very purse friendly or travel friendly because for one the rubbery packaging gets all filthy and it doesn't fit in my purse nicely so that's that. And then uh, the last thing I got from Ulta, well the reason I went on the Ulta website was because I wanted to order this, one of the NYX Ultimate shadow palettes. This is the Brights one, and my main reason for getting this was because it reminded me a lot of the uh, Visart or Visart, however you say it, um, the Editorial Brights palette. I'd been, I have been eyeing that for a long time, and I don't want to spend $80 on a palette that I know I'm not going to wear that much, because I love the bright colors, I'm drawn to bright colors, but I really don't wear them all that often on my eyes. So I figured this was perfect because it's got those bright colors in it and it's not, uh, I think these are like 15 bucks, which is kind of a lot for a NYX palette, but they're always on sale and I got, um, I had $3 credit plus I had the $3.50 coupon, so I got this for cheaper. It was like 12 bucks, something like that. So I'm going to do some swatches for you. I used this orange today. Um, to kind of, I used it with the Kat Von D smoke palette, uh, the smoke quad, and I've got like a Halloween smoky eye going on, but the quality really surprised me because they're very nicely pigmented, and coming from me that's saying a lot because I usually really dislike NYX eyeshadows, they're always chalky, they're always powdery, they don't do much for me, so this is that top row, and I will just show you, the red isn't the greatest, but the other four colors in that row are really nice. That's The last one is the orange that I used today. Most of the colors in here are matte. The red has a little bit of like gold glitter in it. The next row is mainly like purples. So I'm going to do that. I 
think it's safe to say that all four of these are mattes. Let me check it out. All four, four of these are matte shades. This one you can see is a little bit crumbly. I'll try and do it this way. But like I said, the quality definitely amazed me because they all blend out nicely. And like purples, especially for drugstore purples, are never really that great and these are pretty good. So that's that second row. Third row is the blues. And let me tell you, this bright like cyan blue color, the second one, that's gorgeous, and I'm, I was so amazed by how freaking pigmented it is. So you get like this slightly sparkly true blue color, and then you get the crazy cyan blue. You get a glittery sea green. Well, it's more of like a satin. And then that last one is a very an even lighter pastel sea foam. Kind of crumbly when swatching them, but... I haven't had that much of an issue with fallout or anything. So look how crazy that one is. That is my favorite. So let me show you the blues. That is those four colors. That second one is absolutely gorgeous. That was another one that totally surprised me when I first swatched them because I didn't expect it to be that pigmented. And then the last row, again, if you haven't seen this in action yet, you're going to be super surprised at how awesome the yellows are because yellow, if you're a bright eyeshadow lover, you will know yellow is one of the hardest colors. I think yellow and red, especially in like drugstore brands, they're the hardest colors to find decent, um, decent formulas of. So you get a bright green. A lime green that has some gold glitter in it. That reminds me of the lime green that's in the Urban Decay Electric palette. Then you get like a buttery yellow that reminds me of Sugar Pills Butter Cupcake. And you get a brighter yellow. And they look kind of like chunky on my hand, but I'm going to show you when I swatch them. Because they blend out nicely. That's the thing with them. They're like, they feel chalky, but they're not patchy and, like, not pigmented, you know? So, see, especially this one, that yellow's awesome for a drugstore shadow. So, you normally hear me knocking Nyx and saying how horrible things are, but, um, I'm pretty imp impressed with this palette, so... Very, very happy with this and glad that I decided to grab it, especially while I had coupons for it. Um, but yeah, that's, you get 16 shades, all nice and bright, totally worth it if you like bright colors, so that is that. Now, the last thing was my Sephora order. I used 100 points that I had to get the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. Um, this is like their newest mask, I want to say. So I wanted to try it out. I love Glam Glow. You'll see in a second I'm going to talk about something else. And... Oh no, I didn't use 100 points for that, did I? I don't remember which one was... I think I had a, a code for this or something. Maybe I did use 100 points for it. <laughs> and then I used 100 points for this, which was the, the Diva Curl One Condition. I've used this a bajillion times. Uh, I still haven't brought myself to br buy the full size, but I probably should because it works awesome for my hair. If you have curly hair, I highly recommend the Diva Curl line. And not only does it smell good, but it works really, really well. Oh, it smells, it's just got like a fruity, citrusy scent to it. I love it. Um, but yeah, this is their daily conditioner, sulfate, paraben, and silicone free, which is good, especially if you have dyed hair because you don't want it stripping your color. Now, the next thing I got, I might make a video on this separately, I might not, because so many people already have. I got the Nails Ink Paint Can Nail Polish. I got the silver one. I have actually just taken it off my nails. It, how am I going to say it? <laughs> it works better than I expected it to. Um, I've, saw, I've seen some videos where people do it totally wrong and they hate it, but you're meant to do it in like one spray and not keep going sp -sp 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 
because if you do more than one coat, which I tried to do because I screwed up on my index finger, I put another coat of um, the base coat and then tried to spray this over it again and it was like duller than all my other nails and this nail ended up chipping way faster. Um, it lasted three days without chipping. It, it lasted three days until it, until it started chipping and then I took it off. But I think if I try it again it'll work better next time because I know what I'm doing more now than when I first did it. But um, it smells like regular nail polish. I was expecting it to stink really bad and smell like spray paint or something, but that wasn't bad. Came off easy with nail polish remover. What else did I want to say about it? Washing it off, it actually does come off your hands pretty easy with soap and water. You of course have to make sure that your nails are dry first before you do that. And just around the cuticles I had to scrub a little bit more, but it did come off. So um, anybody wondering about that, it definitely does work in that respect. Then the last thing I got was um, the one thing I knew I was going to pick up from the sale. My favorite, number one, all-time favorite face wash ever, the Glam Glow Super Cleanse. I actually had just run out of my other bottle. It lasted me almost a year. Now, I don't use this every single day because um, it's a very like strong, heavy-duty face wash, but I love it for that. It's just... I use it, I don't know, a couple times a week I would say. It's not like my daily everyday face wash, especially because it's 40 bucks and I don't want to be buying it all the time. But I got the 5 ounce, there is a 1 ounce, but I like this one because like I said, the other one lasted me almost a year. Um, the actual product isn't in here right now because it's in my bathroom. I didn't realize that when I sat down to film this video. But um, it's just awesome. It smells pepperminty. It makes your face feel so clean when you're done with it, and it's just like, if I have a breakout, like before that time of the month or whatever, I will use this with my Clarisonic, and the next day, everything's gone. Like, I had a bunch of pimples the week before last, was it? Like, all on my chin, and I'm like, what is happening? My skin is freaking out, and I used that with my Clarisonic, and the next day, 98% of them were gone, so... Definitely recommend it. It's worth a shot if you've been wanting to try it, if you've never tried Glam Glow. The face masks, um, I have tried the Super Mud, is that what it was called? The Super Mud face mask, and it worked well, but it's just not worth it because that thing was like $69 or something like that, and it ended up drying up before, it ended up drying up before I could use it all, so I don't recommend it. It's just a waste of money. But that's it, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you in my next video.